to misappropriation and or abetting misappropriation of publicly raised funds. Uh, number one, on various dates between 14th July 2023 and 9th July 2023, the governor grossly violated the provisions of Article 10, Article 73, and Article 75 of the Constitution, and Section 29 and 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act 2012 by A. Overseeing misappropriation of funds raised for the victims of horrendous Londiani Junction accident tragedy, in which over Kenya shillings 9 million of public funds were lost. And number B, reneging on his undertaking to implement the report of the county assembly's idle committee formed to prop the misappropriation of funds meant for the victims of the accident. There is evidence that the governor filed a suit and or supported a suit by the implicated by those implicated in the report of the county uh, assembly's ad hoc committee in Kericho ELRC petition number E006 of 2023 uh, that is Dr. Wesley Bor and five others versus the governor the county government of Kericho, or the county government and others, and Kericho ELRC petition number E014 of 2023, Victor Toom and others versus the governor, Kericho county government and others. Number C, uh, being personally and directly complicit in the flawed award of tenders for service provision during the fundraiser and request mass of the victims of the accident. Number D, the county governor has in his regard committed numerous and various acts in the course of his duties that are contrary to and in violation of the constitution and the laws of Kenya. These include number I or number one, Roman one, the authenticity of the various payments made cannot be confirmed. The fact that the exact amount of money expended from the sum collected during the fundraiser points to impropriety and suggests a clear fraud of those whom the funds ought to have benefited. Number, Roman number two, a total of Kenya shillings 13 million 682, 660 was collected at the fundraiser. Payments that were approved from the fund were Kericho County Referral Hospital, Kenya Shillings 2 million, uh, 37,524, uh, Londiani Hospital, Kenya Shillings 1 million, 534,190, Super Ticks Limited, Kenya Shillings 2 million, 945,000, Super Shine Limited, Kenya Shillings 411,000, Ray's Hotel, Kenya Shillings 100,000. County Commissioners Fuel, Kenya Shillings 300,000. ETC. Roman number three, that when, the, when Kenyans from all walks of life voluntarily made contribution to aid the victims of the tragedy, it was never intended or anticipated that the funds would be misappropriated with the blessings of the governor who had a higher calling to ensure the money is accounted for to the last coin and on whom the people bestowed uh, their trust. Roman number four, the governor has issued contradictory statements in so far as the use of funds is concerned. The contradictory statements point to his being complicit in the manner. Roman number five, while the governor is on record indicating that the medical bills for all the victims would be waived and taken care of by the county government, it is not clear why the money had to be paid out from the fund collected to various public hospitals against the express and unequivocal representations of the governor. Number E. By his acts of omission and commission, the governor has grossly violated the provisions of Article 75 of the Constitution, which demands that a state officer shall, whether in private or in public, behave in a manner that avoids conflict of interest, 
between personal interest and public or official interest or compromises public interest in favor of uh, personal interest. Number F, by overseeing the misappropriation of the fund, funds aimed at assisting the victims of the accident, the governor violated Article 72, 73 2, which demands from him selfless service based solely on public interest demonstrated by honesty in the execution of his duties, accountability to the public for decisions and actions and discipline and commitment in service. Number G, by allowing himself to be a master of double speak in such a grave matter that shook the conscience of the nation, the governor violated Article 73, 1A, Roman 2, and Roman 3 of the Constitution, which demand that he at all times demonstrate respect to the people and brings honor and dignity to the whole office he holds. Number H, by allowing himself and senior officials close to him to benefit from the funds, the governor violated Article 76.2b of the Constitution, which prohibits a state officer from accepting a benefit in circumstances that compromise integrity of the office uh, of the state officer number i by failing to ensure that the decision making in the executive office of the county governor are not influenced by corruption nepotism and other colors and improper motives the governor has failed to exercise objectivity and impartiality thus violating article 73 2 B of the Constitution, uh, Kenya 2010. Evidence of the governor's engagement, connivance, and complicity in the acts of misappropriation and or abetting misappropriation of publicly raised funds is to be found in Roman number one, the report on the investigation of Londiani accident victims, fundraising held on 14th of July 2024. KCA exhibit number 13, uh, Roma number two, Avidafit filed by the governor in Kericho ELRC petition number E014 of 2023. Uh, KCA exhibit number 14 and number Roma number three video clips uh, numbered KCAV three and KCAV four and KCAV uh, five. Uh, church number B, Mr. Speaker, abuse of office. And allow me to take a sip, Mr. Speaker. Oh, yes, it's, it's not a double protest. Roman number one, illegal appointments, unlawful dismissal and transfers, and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of the county public service. Uh, number one, the governor has furiously engaged in Roman number one, gross misconduct, and Roman number two, gross violations of Article 10, 73, 75, 232, 235 and 236 of the Constitution. Uh, Roman number three, gross violation of section 70, 17 of the Public Officer Ethics Act, section 55, section 59, section 59A, section 60, section 62, section 63, section 64, and section 65 of the County Governments Act, section 4, of the public appointments county assemblies approval act of 2017 and variously abused his office by number a illegally appointing one mrs alice bet now judge of the high court as the county attorney when there was a substantive office holder an act which the employment and labor relations court honorable lady justice Wasilwa um, affirmed was irregular and procedural 
and unlawful in Sang versus Governor Kericho County and two others. Petition number E001 of 2023. In that case, the governor was found to by the court to be in gross violation of uh, Article 73 and Article 232 of the when there was a substantive holder office holder in the name of Mrs. Jacqueline C. Langat and the vacancy had not uh, arisen. Uh, Mr. Speaker, there was an advert when there was an holder of the office and this is illegal because you cannot advertise a position where the 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 person holding office is still in office. The evidence of the governor's engagement, connivance, and complicity in the foregoing acts of illegal appointments and lawful dismissals and transfers and usurpation of the constitutional and statutory functions of the county organs is to be found, Roman number one, judgment of the Employment and Labor Relations Court in Kericho in the case of Collins Sang versus Governor Kericho County and two others. Petition number E001 of 2023, uh, 2024, uh, KELRC, that is KCA exhibit number 14. Uh, Roman number two, a copy of the advertisement for vacancies, KCA exhibit number 15. Uh, Roman number two, subversion, discrediting, and impeding of the oversight role of the county assembly. Number one, on 3rd September 2024, the governor engaged in Roman number one gross misconduct and Roman number two grossly violated the provision of Article 10, Article 73, Article 75, Article 174, and Article 185.3 of the Constitution. Or, uh whose name has been uh, mentioned adversely, has a right to be heard, and therefore His Excellency the Governor, Dr. Eric uh, Kipkoech uh, Mutai, will appear uh, before this House on 2nd October uh, 2024. Uh, He's, uh, he's uh, free, of course, to be accompanied by uh, the lawyers uh, so that he can defend himself before this house. So please note, and therefore, that means uh, this portion shall be moved and debated to conclusion on the same date of 2nd October 2024. Please be advised. Uh, thank you, Honorable Members. I think that one I'll just have to rise and put the question straight. Uh, Honorable Members, I uh, now rise to put the question, which is that this assembly do adjourn until uh, 2nd October 2024 to deliberate on the matters as uh, raised by the leader of majority. Will as many as are of that similar opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as are contrary opinion say nay? And the eyes have it. Thank you. Sana wanaabari. Kwa majina na ito afile prono mindi o kiongozi wa walio wengi punge la kericho. Eh, na amini mumejionea chenye tulikuwa tunafanya leo si ndani ya nyumba ya, ama ndani la punge letu. Ni kwamba eh, motion ya kumuondoa governor wa jimbo la kericho imeesa kusomwa kule ndani. Na hiyo ni notice. Notice of motion itachukua sasa siku saba. Governor pamoja na mawakili wake na wale wengine wote wenye wameza kuguswa kwa hiyo motion wataesa kuja county assembly siku ya Wednesday wiki jayo saa tatu na nusu na motion itasoma chinzi imesoma leo alafu atapewa nafasi ya kuchitetea kwa saidi ya around one hour two hours alafu mujada la sasa kwa wabunge itaesa kufanyika na mwishoe tutaendelea kupiga kura wenye wanaunga mkono lakini kulingana na sahi ile imewe kwa tayari tuko na signature 37 in support of the motion